Hello amazing class fans, how are you all doing if you are new to my channel? Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. But yet to subscribe. Kindly subscribe to Gladiary and get to know much more about life of a domestic worker in Harab. Yeah, today I'll be talking about the title you already seen. Yeah, this party of a thing that is raining in Dubai. When it was first forwarded to me, I don't want to talk much about it because I haven't watched the clip, but now that I have time and uh, from my own view of what is happening and a little experience about what is happening, let's dive straight into different way that some lady find themselves getting involved with this Arab money things or body things. I'm not here to support anybody, but I'm also to give a warning signs and way to avoid yourself not for a victim of such things. And uh, this is also directed to my fellow people in Nigeria, most especially those who have children, your, your daughter, your sons. They are working in Hara, but you don't know the kind of life they are living there. Life here is not easy, most especially whereby a country where Nigeria is have been stopped. Uh, uh, giving access to work or entry into the country, which Dubai is one of the country where we are not permitted. So ladies must survive and guys must survive because a lot of you were just calling these children like, uh, this is not going on well with me at home. How you know how Nigeria is a lot of story that you have been telling your kids because they are working abroad, be believing that the, the life they are living is more better than the one you are experiencing back at home. No, a lot of your children that you believe are making it there, they are sleeping outside. I've once talked about it's life that most Nigeria were living in Dubai. So frustration, demand, or most of this a single mother that have kids at home, they hand over their child to someone to look after the way the person is just demanding because you are looking after a child uh, for the kind of mother. All you do is turning her to 8 a.m. And frustration may lead her to so many things. If you heard about Arab money, those working in Arabian country, Gulf, we have already heard about uh, Arab money, which is popular, a uh, like we can call it a courtist group or, yeah, because... You all know that uh, the source of the problem we Nigerians were facing in Dubai is also caught the same issue. So this is where I want to ship in my own idea when we talk about the experience of this Arab money. These people, they are one of group, they are cankers or that will get to you on social platform because they realize your location or most of the things you are doing on your platform related to Arab, they are aware that this person is in Gulf country. So they know that we are all here to survive. We are here to make money. And they will message you, text you that, oh, hello, are you interested in making money without shedding a blood? Uh, all you just have to do is um, worship a certain God, things like that, blah, blah, blah. I once received it. Because I will never tell you what I haven't have a little or brief experience about it. And uh, I, I read everything when it was being forwarded to me. And I smiled. I said, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. But I'm not interested. And after the conversation, I'm not rude about the person who forwarded it. Because it's just like their leader. And I watched through their, their post, everything related, how you make money without shedding blood, things, blah, 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 blah. They, they even have videos. I watched the video. After that, then I have to appreciate them reaching to me and immediately after our conversation i block them and delete yeah and in this situation there are ladies who were in situation whereby they are frustrated and they receive such message and they see the kind of money they are flaunting on that social platform so can you get what i'm thinking they will fall into the victim of getting attracted to material things because they need cash yeah so this is one of the reasons why by i said some of these people were victims and some of them they are doing it deliberately willingly just to make it in life and uh, please don't judge me and don't come for me in the comment section that gladys what are you trying to say are you supporting those lady who are having such a stinking heart all because of money but 
if you have watched that video that potty train if you are watching it you are going to notice something that is like uh, walking into a den and uh, there's no way for you to walk out that is my own observation after watching the video the way those lady were uh taking something inside the closet like wc where someone is excreting and eating it i know that i watched a video whereby some ladies they were doing research even men guys they were doing research just to make money and they went with their party to the uh, tea junction sit there they pull in themselves and they start eating with bread i've saw the clip also but the one that are uh, happening in dubai whereby these ladies were the way i saw that clip it's like they are being forced like they already get them themselves and there's no way who knows if they are pulling something behind them like gun or anything just to arm them or force them that you already get involved and there's no way you can go back here what makes you to leave your house after being connected on phone and you are here you already see how we are living how we are making this money there's no way or there's no going back this is what i assume when i watch the clip because when i saw the lady they are peeing into her mouth i was like <laughs> this will not be something easy oh. and uh, the one way you even have the pee like the one she the pee in her mouth <laughs> i was even say okay i think this one is a little bit small and when it gets to the lady whereby has to be hitting the pool inside the wc seat then i realized the way she was feeling you know this thing if you are doing it deliberately not with that you may still be like and the way you consume it but the way this lady the facial reaction it shows that uh when you are being forced to do something and uh, this made me to say that uh, my sisters most of you nigeria is working in dubai once you receive such thing don't get intimidated with the money. Don't get attracted to it. Let me tell you, there's nothing like free money. And there's nothing like uh, uh, you made money without shedding uh, without shedding blood or without shedding tears. When, <laughs> when you are talking to someone who is telling you that... Uh, I'm assuring you, you are going to make money. Definitely, you're going to pay something. Not to come so free. Telling you, oh, you're not going to shed blood. Uh huh. But all you have to do is worship a certain God. What kind of God is that? I know the God we are living and we are serving doesn't uh, expect us to do all those kind of things before we make money. There are certain things that makes those people, these occultist people, to reach to you, asking you to come and do rituals or asking you to join them just because of money you are destined to make it you don't realize it me in my own way or from all this yoruba film or all this african film if you are kind of person who is destined to have this what we call cool catch presently or later in the future all these people they have the chances to see a little uh brim of your future and they will use it against you to manipulate and be part of that dream steal from you without knowing you feel like they are helping you yeah there are a lot of ways that you're going to pay back that money you are running after that money that they used to invite you to draw their courtism yeah you're going to pay definitely not to come for free so i'm using this once again to warn my people beware and for those who deliberately say at all at all i must make it please have a rethink a lot of ladies were shutting their own lifespan all because of money or because i just want to be a big girl out because uh, people were know already know that i'm in arab Gulf country i'm abroad i'm not in nigeria and uh you know get must look flinky flinky don't do past yourself just be in your own limit. Spend wisely and don't don't uh, try to impress anyone. Don't try to do that because you are seeing some of your friends in Nigeria. They are even doing well, all because uh, they are putting on different wear shoes and bags that you don't even know the source. Maybe they borrow it, putting on bone straight and all that. So you too, you want to uh, you want to prepare them that uh, 
you know, I'm abroad, this must change. Please, if Dubai or abroad is not working well for you, it's better you go back home, utilize the little you have, do something with that, and uh, surely with diligent prayer and uh, be someone who is ready to have with the, the, the time that will come, that you will flourish, you prosper. Don't be too hasty. If you are not the kind of person who is too haste and you are patient with yourself, you appreciate your little effort and what you have been making. And don't depend your success on any man. I know that uh, making it in life, we, we, also, we also pass through someone. But when you want to pass through someone, why don't you do it legally? Like, do it in the right way, not the way that uh, there is clauses. Because these people, they were even straight forward. Reaching to you, all this Arab money that I'm talking about, all these potty trains that you have been watching the video, they reach to you in a way that you know that there's clauses in what they are talking about. Like, who, who will, unless you are daft or you are being uh, overshadowed with the, 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 the mind uh, of making money, like, you see that bunk of money, that is it. Because it's very clearly stated actually i should have uh cropped the 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 message they sent to me and show you but it doesn't make sense i don't want such thing on my platform but i just want to talk about it if i don't say it my conscience no go ahead allow me say ah, why don't you talk about it once uh one shagala also reached to me that hey, sister do you see this video blah 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 yes i do but i don't want to talk about it then but until it get to my turn that they reach to me, I said, this is how some innocent become victims and how some people who are not even innocent become an uh, executive in getting involved in such things. And when things now get casted, that is being via on social platform, some will be like uh, this and that, see what Nigeria ladies, see what Africans were doing here just to make money. Yeah, there are a lot of things people were saying, because I we shagalas, People who are working in Harad that they are prostitute, they are this, they are that. But now, it is this party of a thing. Irritating to be consuming such thing like, ah, ah, all because of money. What kind of money are you looking for? What kind of money is that? See, eh, please and please, don't judge me. But you are free to drop your own comment about this thing and if you think that what i mentioned or what i said concerning this thing that uh i can't blame those who are victims but i can also blame those who deliberately go ahead to them just because of money you know it's two things some of them they are victim like some people even uh, follow a friend to a certain place and get involved in such thing like they are playing from their heart how they have in mind that okay let me see a friend off to a certain place i have a friend in dubai that uh she was telling me how she got employed and i said it's amazing why because she went ahead to see someone to to submit her own cv without even know that she's going to get employed that very day getting there and she was asked that don't you have cv and she said i do also have and also unemployment after too much in dubai and luckily for her she's working in a company whereby she only have the mindset that oh this is the person these kind of people they needed but she was luck so there's no way that uh my proverb in my dialect they used to say that orire uh, lorewa that when you are working there's possibility of meeting goodness and meeting good people getting connected but uh, when you are not the kind of person who know the kind of person you are connecting with or what you are getting yourself involved you will just waste your life waste your destiny and uh, you become the topic of discussion for people to just laugh about you so please and please before you dive yourself into such things and for those harap chagala if you are receiving such things how we advise you to kindly desist yourself from such thing and block them and pray see there's time for everything and god time is the best thank you so much for watching today's present moment and see you in my next upload love you ciao ciao bye